you know, if I was on that stage doing one of my many talents, and you know how many I've got, Absolutely. and Simon started burying me and saying, you weren't bad, you were terrible, I'd say, really, mate? Right, well, get a load of this. I'd jump off stage and physically attack him. I've seen some of the treats you've got coming up. Yeah? You'll love it. And treats don't get much better than this guy. I'm Russell Farrell, I'm 16 and come from Quinton in Birmingham. I'm here today to do football tricks. I'm not at football because I've got the speed, stamina and plenty of skill. Hello. When people see me doing my tricks, they think I'm amazing. How are you? Nice to see you. I'll compare my tricks to Cristiano Ronaldo. You do keep your piece and stuff? Yep. How many can you keep it up for? If I was to put my mind to it, yeah, I could be a professional footballer. One, two, three, four. I'd love to meet the Queen because she's, like, in control of Britain and so on. I've got a few questions to ask. 15, 16, 17, oh! I'll ask her how it feel to be, like, on top of Britain. Eat a man. 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 What's your name? Russell Farrell. Russell Farrell. Okay, and I presume you're going to do something with the football. Yep. Good. Are you any good? Yep. Um, and do you think you can win? I can try. Should we just get on with the act? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. very well, did it? Well, how did you think? It was OK. Were yeah. you nervous, or does it always yeah. go like that? Russell, no, I think you need a bit more practice. I think you need a lot of practice, actually, yeah. Russell, to be fair. Um, okay. And just develop a little bit more showmanship. So, Piers, yes or no? No, sorry. So, no from me, Russell? Sorry, Russell. Thank you. <laughs> Russell, Russell, Russell. What went wrong? My nurse got the written of me. Really? Mm -hmm. How many keep you up is you reckon I can do? Uh, less than ten. Do you think you can beat me? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Do you want a challenge? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ten. Was it ten? Yeah. Right, you'll go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Wow! Good man! Round of applause for Russell, everybody! Brilliant! See? That was brilliant. I mean, I don't know what happened. Isn't that amazing? Did you know, in the name of Amanda, you can find two other words? A and man, which is why our next feature is not far from genius. As we find out who is the best, a man or Amanda. This week, who can play the beautiful didgeridoo the best? Fuck her up, Amanda. Tiny kangaroo. I'm very impressed with this cover. Not one didgeridoo, but two. Rolf Harris, eat your heart out. Oh, you flaming galah, Amanda. How do you expect to win by playing one didgeridoo? Oh. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, tease me, Amanda. Tease me. <laughs> but who's our winner? Is it a man or a man? 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 It's Amanda! <laughs> You're watching Britain's Got More Talent, and we'll see you after the break. Coming up. You must you pay yourself. Me? <laughs> Welcome back to Britain's Got More Talent, where we've been touring the country, searching for the next big thing. 
We've searched high and low, far and wide, and we've even come to Cardiff. And whilst my journey to Cardiff involved getting on luxurious British railways and all that entails, knees on the line, sheep and cattle at crossing, and of course, road giraffes. <laughs> Those lucky Ant and Deck boys get to travel around in a Volkswagen Caravelle. Ooh, TV's so glamorous. This is your car. This is the Ant and Deck mobile. Do you own this car? Yes. Yeah. It's great. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. We were considering putting stripes down the side, but yeah. that might be a little bit too much, I reckon. A and D. Yeah. Yeah, the E and D team. team. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're in Cardiff. We're in Cardiff. Uh -huh. Do you talk to every act? Yes. Pretty right. much, yeah. yeah. Do you? We do, yeah, because if you don't, you could miss the winner. Do you exactly, know what I mean? yeah. Um, well, we had an um, unfortunate incident with Paul Potts on Series <laughs> 1 where we didn't... Which one are you going to tell? <laughs> we well, yeah, are, not that one. Oh. Uh, where we didn't get him going on, uh, and then he went on to kind of, uh, you know, and mattress applause, a stand ovation. If the truth be known... We're upstairs we, eating sandwiches. We went up for a little sandwich. <laughs> And then we heard, there's a dog, man. I think we best get back downstairs. <laughs> so since then, we've had to interview everybody. So it's it's kind it. of our fault, I think, so sorry about that. But Probably. also, they're, they're just like, we go, well, he's not going to win. Right. <laughs> to be fair, we did see him, oh, I'm not going to bother speaking to him. And then he goes on, brings the house down, we were like that. What? <laughs> Stand an ovation. <laughs> oh, no. Enjoying a very nice ham and tomato sandwich. It is my favourite part of the show, is doing the tour and, and doing the auditions. But it's when you're on your feet all day, standing in the wings, you get, it's really tiring. You just have to stand there all day. And it's not scripted. There's okay. a lot of drivel. This is going to be a really long day. Hello, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> I reckon I have. I've got worms. And whilst Ant worries about his digestive dilemma, I'm more concerned about the energy levels in Cardiff. And I'm not talking about carbon emissions. Come on, people. Wake up! Paul Potts didn't get where he is today by munching on a sandwich whilst wearing a piano tie, did he? This is ridiculous. Come on, Cardiff. One of you must have some zest, some zing, some... What the hell is that? Hello? 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 Is anyone gonna wake this town up? <laughs> I wanna be famous. <laughs> I can't believe how funny I am. <laughs> Yay! The comedian has arrived! For those of you that missed that, it's 41-year-old comedian Jan, and she has arrived. I am the winner, baby! I came to enter the show because I wanted to show that I wasn't just a lunatic, to be honest with you. I wanted to prove that I can be a cracking stand-up, which this show needs. You, me, I'm the only one who is capable of doing this. Cowell, I think, will fall in love with me. I think that man is going to be lusting. It's a good job he's sitting behind a desk. Oh, it's going to be wacko. I don't know how I'm going to talk. Hello. Who are you? I'm Dan. And what's your act? I'm a comedian. OK, Jan, whenever you're ready. Lovely. I can't remember the last time I had a buzz like this, only on the day I got married. When the vicar said to my husband, do you take this woman? Eight ushers said, we have. <laughs> and then not only that, straight after the wedding, he, he died. It was awful. He was screaming and screaming, so I shot him again. <laughs> 